close your eyes, get in touch with the breath. It's your grounding. As we go through life, it's so easy to get blown around. There's a passage in the canon that compares the ways of the world to winds from eight directions. There's gain, there's loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, and pain. And for most people, it's very easy to get twisted around by these things, because the winds change directions very quickly. Sometimes it flows in the direction of gain, and sometimes it flows in the direction of loss. Status, loss of status, it switches around very quickly. If your mind is like a tree, it can very easily get snapped. The Buddha says you want to make your mind like a stone column. Sixteen spans tall, eight spans buried underground. So as the wind blows, there's nothing in the column to catch the wind, and there's no way that it's going to get twisted around. You want to make sure that your sense of right and wrong is always straight north and south. <clears throat> it doesn't get twisted in other directions. So you have to watch out for the opinions of the world, because they change very quickly. Sometimes they say that right is wrong, wrong is right. Then a few days later they switch around. What was wrong the other day is now right, vice versa. So you can't take the world as your standard. We have to stand in the Dharma. You realize that sometimes means going against the world, but do it in the way of the column. As I said, the column doesn't present much of a face to catch the wind. So you don't catch the things that the world is throwing at you. Just let them go past, go past. You stay firm in your foundation. And no matter how strong the winds are, they can't do any, you any damage. Because you've got this foundation. Grounded in the body, in and of itself, feelings in and of themselves, mind in and of itself, dhammas in and of themselves. That's your grounding. That's your foundation. Hold on to that foundation. That's for the world that you can spin around, but you don't have to spin around with it. As John Lee says, there's Whenever there's something spinning, there has to be something in the middle of that spinning that doesn't spin. You want to put your mind there, right here in the present moment, firmly established on the Dharma. And that way you're safe. 